Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, today I will show you the easiest and fast method to permanent unlock the EFI lock or BIOS firmware lock for the T2 Intel MacBook on the latest iBridge OS 9.1 and lower. And all the macOS version, including the latest macOS Sequoia, are supported for the T2 MacBook EFI permanent removal. That means after the unlock, your MacBook will be completely new and EFI lock will never come back even if you reset or restore your MacBook even if you update so it's a permanent complete removal method and the supported model list are on the screen so you can pause the video and check it out so now without further delay let me just go to my computer screen and start this process okay so first we will download the latest hfz t2 efi version 4 and for the download links you can check out the video description or you will get it on my telegram channel once you have download, you can simply install it on your system. Okay, so here is the tool interface. First, you need to connect both the Macs with a Type-C to C cable. Okay, after that you have to put that locked Mac into the DFU mode. You have to press the specific button combination so that the locked Mac will go into the DFU mode and the status will detect on the HFZ tool that your Mac is connected in the DFU mode. So I will put some screenshot on the screen for the DFU instruction or you can google it according to your model. You will get plenty of articles on that. Alright, so once your MacBook is in the DFU mode, you will see the black screen on it. Don't worry about that. The iTunes will detect and on the HFZ tool, you will also see your Mac is detected in the DFU mode. You will get the ECID plus model number. Now next thing, you have to register the ECID in the server in order to use the tool. So for that, copy the ECID and model and tool screenshot and send it to me on my Telegram for the registration. For the prices and other information, you can check out the description link. You will get my official handles and you you can contact me there now once your ecid is registered you can instantly use the tool after that simply click on patch and wait for the process to get complete Alright, so patch is done and tool will ask you to click OK and proceed further, reboot Mac and it's done. Now here you have two choices. The first one is if you want to save your data, just click on OK and reboot your Mac normally and you are done. And if you don't want data, you can just go to the recovery mode and simply install the fresh OS. So I will go with the second option as I don't want any data because I want to set up this Mac completely new. So I will just go to the recovery mode and simply erase the SSD and install the clean os but as i mentioned in the starting this method works without data loss also so if you want to save data simply click on ok and reboot the mac and you are good to go now for the recovery mode also there is two ways if you want the latest mac os sequoia directly just press the option plus command plus r but if you want the default os that is the older one like mac os high sierra mojave and mac os catalina as per your model you can simply go with the command plus r so both option available as per your preference so i'm going with the new one that is the option plus command plus r that will give me the latest mac os sequoia directly
now next here you will see the globe recovery screen now here you need to connect with a strong wi-fi and after that proceed further Now here it start proceeding with the download and some OS file so wait for it to get complete it will take time according to your internet speed and make sure you connect it with a fast Wi-Fi or I will just skip this part or fast forward it so that it will save your time and we will directly go to the setup page. Okay so we are on the recovery mode, now simply select the language and proceed further. Now next connect with the Wi-Fi from the top. Ok now next go to the disk utility and erase the ssd and create the new partition and simply install the fresh os and if you are on older recovery mode that is the command plus r you will get the disk utility option from the top bar option section. Ok so partition is created click on ok and now you can go back we are all set to install the macOS Sequoia click on that and proceed further. Ok now OS installation has been started and it will take time as per your internet speed. So to save time I will fast forward the video or skip this part and we will directly go to the setup screen. Ok so I have done the OS installation after that your Mac will be reboot and show you the Apple logo with some updating progress and then you will see this setup screen with the latest Mac OS Sequoia. Now simply set up the Mac to the home screen. Ok so we are done welcome to the Mac and you can see everything looks good and we are on the latest iBridge OS 9.1 with the latest Mac OS Sequoia. And as I mentioned in the starting this method is a complete removal that means a complete unlock like a new Mac so EFI lock will not come again. 
So let me just reboot my system and show you after the reboot also it will work normal. Okay, so after reboot also everything is good. Let me just also show you the four shutdown from the power button directly and after that it will work normal. So both ways working good we have normally reboot and also force shutdown from the power button it's a complete removal so everything will work after that. Let me also go to the recovery mode again and show you the recovery is completely unlocked and the EFL lock is not there. So now let me just press the recovery keys. Okay so as you can see on the screen we are on the recovery mode and there is no BIOS or firmware lock again it's a complete removal so you can also try it if you have a similar kind of issue. So that's all for today's video session I will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out.